Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to talk about validation rules. Validation rules for a field and validation rules for a table. So looking at the table we have here, it's table called customers. There's just three records in there. We've got a date join field. So I want to put a validation rule on that column that's going to stop me entering a date in the past, for example. Let's have a look. Go into there and on that field, you go down to the properties and you click on to where it says validation rule. So I'm going to say it must be greater than or equals to now, which is today's date, minus one. So it lets me do today's date. Um, I need to do a bracket there, not a zero. Now, at the moment, I've got things in here that are going to break that rule. Um, you'll see what pops up in a minute. Now, underneath, you've got validation text. What you're putting in there is what you want to appear on the screen if the rule is broken. So I'll put enter a date in the future. Like that, that's what's going to pop up. Now, if I save this, it's going to tell me that rules have been changed, yes, and then that some have been broken, yes. I'm just going to overwrite that for a moment and have a look because obviously these rules are, these dates, should I say, are already in the past. So if I'll just delete some of these off, well, all of them off actually. And then what you'll get is, watch this. So if I put today's date, if I do control semicolon today's date, I want that to let me do that, which it does. If I put in this one, yesterday, so 09 2024, that shouldn't let me do that. And it does, it comes up with the rule and the text pops up telling me that that's uh, not allowed. Click OK to that, and then I'll have to change that date to today's date or one in the future, which it now lets me do. That's what the validation rule's for. I'm going to take it off at the moment because I don't want it on here. So I'm going back into design, and I'm going to delete it. That's how you do it, though. I'll delete the text as well. Now what I want to do is add a new field called date founded, date and time. And I want to do a, a rule that's set at property level for the table. So if I close this down for a second, because I've got it open, it's not normally open. Property sheet for the table allows you to compare two different fields. So that one I just did there was just for that field. This is gonna compare these two. So I've added that. What I need to do is save this. So I'll save the table. Then I need to go into the property sheet. And then I'm going to the validation rule, clicking on the three ellipses. And I'm going to say date joined has to be greater than or equals to date founded. So you can't join before you've been founded, basically. I'll click OK to that. So underneath that, I need to put a prompt. So date founded must be less than date joined or something like that. Spell that right. So that's what I want to come up. Save this. Have a look. So if I put today's date in there, control semicolon, that should be okay. But if I put a date in the future, that should come up with an error message. If I put the 24th of September, 2024, press tab to come off that, I get the prompt. The validation rule is broken because I can't, I can't be founded before I've joined. After I've joined, should I say, I have to be founded before I can join. Clicking OK to that. I have to change this date. So I'll put that to the 14th. That might have just been a typo. That should let me do it. 
and now it's okay. So that's what the validation rule's about, stopping people typing inaccurate information into your database table. So you've got two choices, you do it on the field, so you're stopping people entering a particular date like you want it in the future or today, not in the past. That's one way of doing it for the particular column. Or in this one, where you're comparing these two fields and forcing yourself to type a date in the past in this example. So hopefully that was okay. Thanks for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.